Comes alive on third and seven. First series here for Lindsey Wilson. Lots of time. Duke's going to move around. Rolls out to his right, and he has got his man at the 38-yard line. Beautiful catch made right there, and it's Jalen Boyd coming down with it. Run it. First down and more. Nicely done to the 47. Down now from the 44. Take a look at the offensive line there for Lindsey Wilson. They set up the screen. Get a couple blocks out there. Nice shifty running. Able to stay on his feet. I'll tell you what, this is a very impressive back. Darius Clark, the junior, his first touch good for a first down. Numbers of his team for Lindsey Wilson. They are lethal rushing the football. There he is one more time, and that pile is going to move. Blue Raiders pushing and pushing. This is like a rugby match. Still no whistle. Inside the five. Slow. Try and rush this one in, and there is Cameron Dukes stretching across the line for the touchdown. Rhythm. And I think you go back to the crossing routes. Oh, oh wide open, and it's dropped. Oh, wow, McQuillan, if he would have had that, he could have run all the way to Monroe. You've got to be able to protect your quarterback and create pocket integrity if you're this offensive line for Northwestern Iowa. Jaden Snyder, that ball goes straight up in the air. That was a shank to say the least. And they're going to say... It went out at about the 14, maybe 15 yard line. This connection to the pass goes deeper for a father-son duo. Jay Roseboom was the captain of the 83 squad and his son, starting linebacker and captain Trevor is suited up for tonight's game. For Northwestern, Dukes tries to make it happen with his legs. And right now this Red Raiders, D, they have settled in. They have accepted the challenge is T.J. Jones, six foot five, 300 pounds with the big hand. So let's see if Ian Souter can add to the lead. Kick is up, and it is right down the pipes. Quarterback's going to try and do it himself. This is going to be really close. Had to get it to the 47. Depends on the spot here. And I think he got it. To make sure they're not allowing these receivers to get behind them, and then the receivers come back to the football. Got to the line quickly that time. And I'll tell you what, this offense can really move. Noel Patterson back up also in Lindsey Wilson's favor. Run a little reverse action. Got the defense going one way. This is a big play, and it is going to go. Touchdown, Lindsey Wilson. Noel Patterson. Only one first down thus far for the Red Raiders, trying to get their second here, and they will get it. Needed that, and McQuillan does the honors. They need something good to happen, does Northwestern. Throw it over the middle, another catch, and a first down again. So finally, Red Raiders have got something cooking. Times this year, trying to do it again here tonight. Fake the handoff now. Fryer, lots of room on this near side. Has a man open, and he'll get the feet down at the 33. Under two minutes left to play in the first half. The march for points continues, and it could come here. McQuillan with the leap, and he is down to move the chains again. First down, 15-yard line. Another quick throw. This has worked here on this drive. Solberg trying to get as much real estate as he can, and he gets it near the five. And the ball game again. Try it one more time, and it is stuffed one more time. Official going to blow it down. The clock is going to be stopped here at 14.6 seconds on fourth down. But only one play to make something good happen. They go to the screen. The outside is there, and he is in. McQuillan scores, and finally Red Raiders get six. So Cameron Dukes. Starts from near the 40. Toss it out right. It's caught by Lewis. Lewis has got some wheels. And he gets it close to a first down. He'll have it right at midfield. Dukes, wide open. Oh, nobody picked him up. And he has got some serious real estate. It's Boyd again. Somebody tackle him as he gets it to the 20. They want to stop. 
Cameron Dukes, lots of time to throw. Goes underneath. It's caught, trying to turn it upfield. Nicely done to the five. And there is big number 83 again. I'll tell you what, Noel Patterson having himself a night. Second down, here's Dukes from the shotgun. And he is gonna get in, touchdown, Lindsey Wilson. And a good way to start the second half. Brings up second down. And they'll run it again right. Oh, those holes starting to open. Look out. The speed has been unleashed. Lindsey Wilson knocking on the door once again inside the five. Nearly took it the entire way. Darius Clark. And they've just got a bevy of running backs running the football. A good job by the offensive line to get around the edge. And you see those guys, the backs are not seeing any defenders until they get to the second level. To this offensive unit. And now it's Dukes handing it off once more. Blue Raiders starting to pull away, folks. Belcher into the end zone, and it's another touchdown. It's 30 to 7. Level. So what they're doing, they're knocking those defensive tackles over for their tackles, and they're able to get up and put a body on these linebackers, not allowing them to flow downhill. Big number 91 up front, D'Angelo Berrios, blue collar. Worker says his head coach. And there's a nice throw for a first down as it is Mosher this time squeezing it. NFL history. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get that plug. <laughs> Fryer under pressure. This would be a heck of a throw. Does make it, puts it on the numbers. Did he come down with it? Yes, he did. Good job coming back to the football to help your quarterback. Watch him come back to the football and use his body cool. to box the defender out. Great job by Michael Story. And that game-winning catch. Now another man open. I'll tell you what, those holes starting to open up just a little bit. As Fakuma to the 45, and now the Red Raiders all of a sudden coming alive. Loft this one. Oh, beautiful. Had to put that right in the perfect spot as McQuillan comes down with it. And he just took a little bit too long to get rid of the football. Fryer over the middle, got his man, and he is in. Solberg scores, and the Red Raiders aren't done just yet. And once again, that crossing route, that's what allows a quarterback to get comfortable. It's one of the toughest routes. Here they'll go for two. Fryer looks towards the end zone, just lofts it up, and just a tough play there. Do you agree with the decision to go for two? No, I don't agree with the official not to throw the flag on that play. Berg about it. He said, look, I'm not the only playmaker. He, he, he laughed a little bit because he said, that's the first question you guys asked me. <laughs> but at the same time, he said, we are a team full of playmakers. Oh, look out. Hunter Watkins nearly goes the distance. You, how things happened uh, with the whole thing with the Avengers with Thanos and uh, the five-year period where everyone disappeared and losing the way that they did in the semifinal. So, you know, I get it, not being happy being here, but having to fulfill his job duties. It's going to be a loss. So fourth down coming up. See if they can get some pressure here. Right side. It is caught. First down and more. Down to the 15. That is a big one. Jaleel Warren, the junior, tight end. Third down. Dukes with tons of time again. Now wants it. Inside the five. Another nice hookup. Just waited for his guy to get open, and it was Demetrius Patterson. Eight minutes to play. Run a little option, and Dukes going to call his own number. Blue Raiders touchdown. So now fourth down. Fryer, perhaps the final chance. Just not happening there tonight. Kashawn Beasley, the red shirt freshman, was coming. Appreciating the, the performance of Dukes. Didn't even notice that Evans was out there doing this. We notice you now, big guy. We notice you now. Touchdown. Cameron Evans out of Somerville, Georgia. Whether your career's over or not, whether you're going to train or not, back and forth. It took patience. It took perseverance. It took hard work. It took talent. 
And it took Lindsey Wilson football at its very best to win a national championship for the NAIA. Great seasons by both ball clubs. Unfortunately for Northwest and Iowa, they didn't have their star player, but they were game. They came in and fought as hard as they could. Lindsey Wilson just was better this evening, and they deserve to be national champions.